I'm gonna ride this bike on the canyons and we're gonna do a comparison video with Space Pod. And I'm gonna ride this bike and we're gonna give our feedback and impressions. Stay tuned. Yeba yeba. Yeba yeba. Okay, so Mr. Faithful Trigger, Michael. Mr. Um, Space Pod. In, in, <laughs> in conclusion, let's talk about these bikes. Let's say for a beginner rider, now, beginner, normally we would recommend a small bike, but let's say they were still kind of new, but they wanted to move up. Which bike would you pick for canyon, street, long trips? What would be your pick? I'll go for a 600. I think it's uh, enough bike for everything, you know. Probably if you got used to the 600, you can go, you can move a little higher, 750, you know, or Fair uh, point. 1000 cc. But I think for a new rider, I think 600 is good enough for everything. The 600 is definitely way more, can do way more than any of us here has the skill to do for sure, I agree. Um, really what the 750 comes down to is power, low gearing, or being able to stay in one gear, I should say. And uh, it doesn't really weigh that much more than a 600. But I agree, for a 600 for anyone is probably more than adequate. I think for a beginner rider, if you're short, you're probably gonna like the Jixer any Jixer that's kind of new more than the Kawasaki because the Kawasaki is just a little taller yeah. so it's going to be very scary especially if you're new for me I'm five foot three just so you guys know because you're going to want to know and how tall are you like five ten and what's your inseam uh 32. wow so you have a 29 inch inseam so any rider that's taller than me you can ride any of these bikes but your comfort level on a taller bike is going to be not as comfortable especially if you don't have the experience so for me I would pick the Kawasaki for canyons because I think it handles better. Braking is about as good on each. I think the Kawasaki is all day comfortable. I could take that thing to Fresno and I'd be comfortable just like I am on my Jixer. But because I'm shorter, I have a lot of leg room, so I'm comfortable on any bike. How about you, comfort? For comfort, um, I think it's about the same, but the, the Jixer is a little high on comfort. The ergonomics is really good. I think my bike's high. Yeah. No, I mean, no, no, I mean the, in the comfort zone. So. Yeah. I'm just kidding. No, but in the on the uh, on the freeway riding or in the uh, just uh, straight riding, I think I'll go for a 750. But for the canyon riding or for flickability of the bike, the nimbleness, I think I'll go for the 600. Yeah, I agree. On on long stretches and street and freeway, definitely I like that 750 because I came from a leader bike. And I like the power on the freeway and all that, but you don't really, you can't use it in the canyon. It's just too much. So I agree with you there. And I think we're pretty much in agreement on that. All right, all right. Faithful Trigger. Well, it was great. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> it was great it was, riding uh, with you. It was you. fun riding your bike. Thank you for oh, yeah. letting me ride your bike. And it was awesome. Now I have another bike to add to the list. Thank you for letting me ride your 750. Sure, man. Anytime. Thank you, YouTube viewers. Stay tuned and watch all of Mark and Faithful Trigger's videos. Uh, Faithful Trigger, Space Pod. And subscribe. Space Pod, if you want to sub, I do this too. So we're, at, we're all motor vloggers here. So. Fine, man. 
you will be fine. As long as the engine is running, as long as you are running, you're good. Go! Do you think he can handle the power of your monster beast? I'm sure he's riding at 750. <laughs> I know, man. I'm just messing around. I'm just fooling around. Yeah. <laughs> can you handle the power of this Jigsaw? I handle the BMW S1000RR. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. Hello, I am the Space Bar 2000. Hello, Michael. Hello. How are you doing today? Hello, Faithful Peeger. Hello. So, are we going to talk about our rides? Yes. You know, you got to ride my bike, I got to ride your bike. They're both 2009s. And yours is a ZX6R. And you have the Jixer 750. That is correct. And so, what did you think? Oh, I like the the power of your bike. You have the very smooth delivery. Yeah. It's a very uh, very nimble. For uh, it's like uh, you said, it's like five pounds lighter. Yeah, the, oh, the, the 750 is five pounds lighter than the 600. No, no, heavier, year. you said. So, you know, 150 more cc's for 5 pounds. Yeah. And you were saying, since I got rid of the exhaust, I put the Yoshi on there, uh -huh. I saved all that poundage anyway. So, free power. Now, the ZX6R was really cool. Like, when I got on it, um, it's very, it's got a stiff suspension, but it's very compliant. It's hard to explain unless you ride something like that. And as far as I know, that's a factory Showa, right? Yeah. And it has an all-in steering damper. But what I really like about the Ninja is when you let off the gas, there's not a lot of engine braking. Like the Jixer has a lot of engine braking, you know. And when you let off the gas on the, the Ninja, it just, it's smooth, it keeps going. And it's got a good power band, you know, for a 600. It, it revs all throughout the range quite nicely. And the best thing I like about it is it feels like my Jixer. It's got a narrow tank. And I can squeeze it with my knees and caress it. Just kidding. <laughs> and, and it felt like my bike, and it's very nimble. I really like how nimble it is. Anything else on the Jixer, or uh, or do you want to ask me anything about what I thought of the Ninja? The Jixer. The the only thing I the thing is um, you know I'm heavier than you. So I feel that the suspension is a little soft, but everything else, it's uh, the power delivery is smooth, the ergonomics, the comfort, it's really good. It, it, it yeah, really I think both bikes are ergonomically really great. I could ride that Ninja all day long. Now the Ninja was a little taller, it's, it's still pretty narrow because I noticed uh, around 2007 the GS6 Star started doing that, the R1 did that in 2005, they made it very narrow. And so even people my size were able to ride an R1 or the Jixer. And then your bike, I rode the 2004 version of that, and it was so tall yeah, and so the, wide. Yeah, it's just the seat is wider, but yeah. I think it's, they Which have the same Which translates height. to the same thing, because, yeah. you know, seat width and seat height will both eat up your leg room. Yes. And, yeah, but this, this 09 is way better than I thought it would be. Um, definitely a great bike, and it's something I would consider if I ever had to buy a bike again. That would be a mix. And thank you for letting me ride it. Thank you for letting me ride your 750, man. If Absolutely. I consider buying a, a higher uh, CC on, on 600, I'm going to get the 750. See? It's a pretty good bike. It's light. Seven, it's, sometimes, you, sometimes it's nice to have the power. Yes. Like if you're on a freeway, you don't want to go as high of a rev. Maybe you're coming home late at night. That's probably not much of an issue. But really in the canyon, there's a lot less gear changing. Yeah, a lot so, less. That's kind of one of the big advantages of, of more displacement. And plus you got that top end speed, you know. 